hey folks welcome back to another video in this video i'm going to be showing you how to add youtube videos to your playlist using google app script so this is the sample google sheet that i'm going to be using for this video this google sheet will be containing the id of the videos that i, that I want to add to the playlist if you prefer working with the google sheet while the tutorial is going on i'll be leaving the link in the description you can check that out so the first step that we're going to be doing is adding the youtube ids to the sheet so that we can write the google app script here to add them to the playlist right so i'm just going to be creating a programming playlist that's going to be having c plus plus a python tutorial and a golang tutorial and here i have a test playlist that's going to be coding playlist which i'm going to be using to add the video so this is going to be the target playlist where i want by the end of the video or by the end of the of writing and running the script i want all the videos to come into this playlist so the first thing that i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be going to this video this is a c plus plus tutorial for beginners i'm just going to go here i'm going to copy this link so after the equal to sign is going to be the link that you want to copy go here just go ahead and paste it out here next i'm going to be going to the python code this is a python tutorial course full course for beginners i'm going to go copy this go back here paste it out here i'm going to go to go programming i'm going to copy the link and i'm going to paste it here right i'm just going to zoom in a bit so here you can see i have three video ids that i want to add that like i have three target videos that i want to add to this target playlist so i'm just going to go ahead and open the script editor i've already opened it here but to open it you just need to go to the extensions go to app script and you'll open the app script editor right so the first thing that we're going to be doing is we're going to be uh, interacting with youtube right so we need to add the required api so for this video we're going to be adding the youtube data api so i'm just going to go to services i'm going to just scroll down here to the google youtube api it's going to be this youtube data api and this is going to be the identifier that means the keyword that we're going to be using to interact so i have created various videos that involve the apis of google that you can use with google app script i'll be leaving the playlist link in the description you can check that out so after this we are done with this i'm just going to go and click on add here and in a few seconds the api will get added to the project here you can see the api has been added here and you can just go and read the documentation and stuff like that so let's just go ahead and start coding so i'm just going to clear this out first and the first thing that i'm going to be doing is creating a new function i'm going to just say add videos right and then i'm just going to open the brackets here i'm going to be creating if the first variable is going to be constant sheet that's going to be i'm going to be getting the spreadsheet right it's going to be spreadsheet app dot get active spreadsheet and after this i'm just going to be getting the active sheet the way now that we have got the active spreadsheet it's time to get the sheet i'm just going to change this variable to ss then I'm going to go here. I'm going to do ss dot get active sheet. Oops. So this command is going to be getting the active sheet. So the active sheet means in this case, I'm here in the sheet two. But if I go to sheet one, sheet one is my active sheet that I'm going to be using. But you are allowed to use the various ways by which you can add a sheet. That's going to be getting the name. There's or it's getting the sheet by the name or getting the sheet by the ID and stuff like that. But for now, I'm just going to be sticking to getting the active sheet. Next, I'm going to be declaring two variables. That's going to be the start underscore row. That's going to be two after which I want to get the start underscore column. That's going to be one. So here the start column to Y, I mean the start row. Why is it two? I want to start from here since we have an header for this table here. I'm going to be starting from the row two. And the column one is going to be this one. So it's going to be starting from here and it's going to go down till how many other video IDs you have, right? Now we're going to be getting all the video IDs into one variable. So I'm going to be creating a new variable called video underscore ID. Here I'm going to be doing she dot get range and inside this get range command, we're going to be passing all the, the variables that we declared. It's going to be start row. It's going to need to add a comma. It's going to be the start column. And after that, we need to just going to do a sheet dot get last row. This means that even if you have 100 YouTube IDs, 
it's going to be iterating through all of them as then it's going to be adding it to the playlist so you don't need to specify a particular number and after we get the range the next step is always going to be getting the values right i'm going to get the values here and just to do a simple check i'm just going to do a console dot log and in this console dot log i'm passing the video id i'm going to click on save i'm going to go ahead and click on run Here you can see the execution started and it's completed but i don't like this format that it is printed in so i'm going to be using a new command dot called flat and this is going to be converting it into it into an array so i'm just going to click on run here oops we i just forgot to add the brackets here that that were required here and i'm just going to go ahead and click on run Here you can see all the YouTube links have been added into one particular array. In the previous console.log, you, you could see that the data was printed in different different arrays. Like there's a main array and then inside that there are different arrays. Using the dot flat command, you can combine all these arrays and convert it into one big array. Right. So now we're going to be doing the main code for the video. I'm going to be declaring the playlist. So playlist ID. To get the playlist ID, we're going to go back here and we need to print it after the equal to. So this is going to be from here. I'm going to go till the end and copy it. I'm going to go back to the script. I'm going to add just paste the ID out here. And after this, I'm just going to be doing a video dot for each. And I'm going to be using the arrow function here. Right. So inside this function, I'm just going to be using the, I'm going to be using the YouTube dot command and I'm going to do playlist items. So inside this, I'm just going to be doing a playlist items, right? And inside this playlist items, I want to insert some videos, right? So I'm just going to open the brackets here. Here, I'm going to be creating a snippet here. And inside this snippet, I need to pass the playlist ID that's going to be there. Right. So inside this playlist ID, I'm going to pass in the playlist ID variable that I created. Then you need, you need to specify the resource. Right. So the resource ID that's going to be there. Here you can see there is an error. We put a semicolon instead of a comma. We remove that and we add a comma here. And after this, after this, we're going to be adding the type. That's going to be the kind. So what is this? So we are we are we adding a YouTube video or we adding something else? It's going to be YouTube. So for this comma, it's going to be YouTube slash video. Add a comma here. And after this, we need to specify the video ID that's going to be there, right? So it's going to be the video ID is going to be the width. It is already there. So we're done with the basic stuff here. So here I'm just going to go ahead and click on save. And I think our code is good and ready to go. So I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to save. Just going to go. This code is already saved. I'm just going to go ahead and click on run. So here you can see on running, we're still getting an error. But if I go back to my coding playlist and I just hit refresh, oh, the videos have already come into the playlist perfectly. I don't know why we're getting this error. There's something, something wrong with this, but the videos have come into the playlist successfully. So this, so here you can see using simple around say 18 lines of Google Apps script, you can add your YouTube videos to your playlist using Google Apps script. So this is all for this video. I hope you have understood how to add YouTube videos to your playlist using Google Apps Script and the YouTube Data API. I will be leaving the code link and the sheet link and these videos that I've used the links in the description if you want to work with it. Also, guys, if you are interested in learning Google Apps Script from the basics, I have created a course that is live that is currently live on Udemy. So I'll be leaving that link too in the description. You can check that out and let me know in the comment section if you want any specific videos on specific topics. If you like this video, then don't forget to like, share and for more content, hit the subscribe button. I will see you in the next one.